We're going to vlog our day today. Where are you going to? Uh, you're going to go to school. No. To dad's. Yeah, you go to dad's after school. Yes. Yeah. I haven't done a vlog for ages, so we're going to vlog our day today. Hey. <coughs> Do you want me to go get you a drink? Yep. I think it's like 6.30 a.m. This is what happens when I wash my hair and don't style it. <laughs> Beautiful look in the morning. There you go. Whoa! Oh! I just fell down. <laughs> got all his fans lined up on the floor. And he's got money because he was making me pay for them yesterday and I'd have to buy them off him. So I thought I'd show you guys what a normal morning looks like in this household. Um, I need to fix his hair. It looks so naughty and it needs to be toned. 6.22 a.m. Uh, my favorite thing to do now is put my phone on Do Not Disturb because it stops me looking at notifications. And I do it from like 7.30 p.m. until 6.30 a.m., which is so good. So even in the afternoons, I'm hardly on my phone. We kind of just like spend some nice time together. So generally in the mornings, I like to have the house clean before I take Mace to school because otherwise I come home and I get distracted and just spend all my day cleaning everything. So I've got a couple of dishes I've just left in the sink, which I don't usually do. Oh, there goes my alarm. Um, so I'm just going to put these dishes away and I'm going to start making his lunch. And then usually I make him breakfast and I'll just kind of clean the house, make the bed. Yeah. So many days I forget to drink enough water. So first thing in the morning also, I like to get... A big glass of water with some lemon in it because I hate the taste of water on its own and it just makes it nicer and it kind of encourages me to drink more of it. So yeah, while I'm cleaning up, I'm going to try and drink through this water as well. Mason's over here. <laughs> oh. And usually every morning there's always a build up of stuff on here. So after I make the bed, I get rid of that too because I just, I hate seeing stuff around the house. All right, so I'm gonna make Mason's lunch. Now, after I cut the apple up, normally apples go brown. So I've worked out something that makes it stop going brown and they stay really nice in this lunchbox when they're cut up. So I put a little bit of salt into a bowl and then I'm just gonna put some water in it. This is a, like a cool little lunchbox tip. Uh, then I'm just going to peel the apple because he doesn't like apple skin. So I'm just going to put that apple in there and you got to let it sit in there for about five minutes minimum. I kind of leave it until just before we leave for school. And it makes it not turn brown. Obviously, um, because it's salty water, when I take it out, I do rinse it and put it in like a little Ziploc bag. So I always try and put as much healthy stuff as I can into Mason's lunchbox, but it makes it really hard. Um, with him being so fussy. All right, so this is what we've got so far. I've got the apples to go in still, his toaster sandwich, banana, yogurt, raisins, a muesli bar, and I'll also put just like one packet of something in there just to make sure there's enough food. All right, time to make the little rug some breakfast. What do you want to eat for breakfast? Wheat bix. Can you ask nicely? Oh, gosh, I'll eat please. I have wheat bix. Of course you can. Thank you. <laughs> So this is Mason's breakfast. Is that yummy? Yep. He's pretty much always in his undies, so excuse that. So while Mason's having his breakfast, I always come in the room, tidy up the room, and make my bed. Um, I think it's a really good habit to get into is making your bed pretty much when you get out of it because you're less likely to hop back in and lay down and be lazy. All right, it's time to walk this little rug right into school. In the car I was driving and every time I stop at the lights, I have to go. You like Do it that, to my cheeks, go. Okay. okay, ready? Go. Do 
my neck. Why do you keep ducking down? There you go. Ah! Into my neck. So it turns out today's not free dress day. <laughs> There's like this messaging app that I can message the teacher on. So I just sent a message and I'm like, uh, totally thought it was free dress day today. Apparently it was a couple of days ago and we missed it. I'm like, so we're celebrating today. All right, so most mornings when I get home, I like to get myself in a really good mindset. I can really easily fall into like sitting on the couch, being lazy, playing on my phone. I try so hard not to do that. Um, so what I like to do is when I get home, obviously sometimes I'll do like a little extra clean of the house if I didn't get to clean it before I left. Um, and then I just basically chuck some gym gear on and go for a really nice walk along the water I'm lucky enough to live right along the beach and it's the most beautiful spot um, So it's really really nice and it's really good to clear your head as well Like if you've got stuff going on It's nice to just get out in the fresh air have a bit of a walk and it really does just change your mindset So I'm gonna go for a little walk this morning and then I'm gonna come back and get some stuff done before I take Mason to his dad's this afternoon. So it is my weekend free, child free weekend. I'm looking forward to it. I don't have a huge amount of plans. I've pretty much got a full day of work tomorrow. But yeah, a couple of months ago, I did some makeup for some girls and they owned their own little gym wear line and it's called Paris and I. So the Instagram is Paris and I official and I'll link it down below. When I wear shorts a lot of the time, they ride up and then my bum cheeks end up hanging out. I feel like these are that perfect length and the shortest that they go sometimes i'll kind of just move up a little bit but they're still always covering my whole bum which i really appreciate the material is really nice so it's got the like little detailing on this part of the back here it says paris and i this is not sponsored i did purchase these myself so i forgot to mention that before i put this outfit on i had like a gradual tanner on and the tanner did get all over the outfit so if you see that it's like got tan on it that's what's going on um this bit that i'm about to walk through is very well known for magpies attacking so fingers crossed we make it out alive such a nice day with the worst lighting possible walking very pretty so i've been out walking for about 40 minutes now i feel so good just being in the fresh air like sometimes i get really lazy and i just stay inside and i end up doing nothing um, I've got some emails I need to do, and if I was a legit YouTuber, I'd be like, now I have to go to my post box, but I don't need to do that. <laughs> Such a gorgeous day. Does anyone else really appreciate when it's R&B Fridays? It's like my favorite day to drive in the car. Love it. It's like so many old school mixes, and it just takes me back. Like, this just reminds me of high school. R&B Fridays live. Four, three, two, one. <laughs> So does anyone else, when they go to a shopping center, always park in the same car park? I literally always park in the same spot at Pacific there. Um, wanted to show you, I have a full set of nails, quite proud of myself. This doesn't happen very often, so I thought I'd point that out. So this has to be my favorite shopping center to come to. I literally will always drive here as opposed to going somewhere close, even if I can get something closer to home. It feels like you're on a holiday and it's just so pretty. I'll show you what it looks like if anyone's not from the Gold Coast. And I always park in the same spot, like by this entrance. How pretty this is. Oh my god, no way. Look what I just spotted. I need to do that. So just picking up these lashes in Priceline and I thought I'll have a little look to see if anything that I love is on special. I picked up some of my favourite lash glue as well. It's just the Ardell lash adhesive. So I just got home. I'm going to make like a little bit of lunch because I'm starving and then I need to pick up Mason. I need to be at Mason school in 30 minutes. Um, all right. So I've got these little wraps. I keep them in the freezer, so I'm just gonna like pull one out and I kind of let it thaw out on the bench. Cheese, tomato, lettuce. So I'm gonna use these instead of falafel today. They're really, really yummy. Um, and I'm gonna make a little wrap, but I'm gonna get off here now because I literally have to rush and then go pick Mason up really soon. So it doesn't look that exciting, but this is what it looks like before I roll it up. I kind of just like smushed my little uh, lentil ball things in. And I'm just gonna roll it up and then put it in my little toasty maker over there that won't focus. Lunch is served. I swear it doesn't look like much, but I kind of rushed this one. Mason's lovely little flower obsession. He won't get in the car because he's got to go down a bit further to pick me a flower. So let's see if he finds one. I think he already picked the last one this morning. So we'll see if there's one there. Mate, no, you gotta wait. I am waiting. I won't leave without you. No. you Did you get another flower? Yep. Show me. Yeah. It's okay. Hey, 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 hey. It's because it's windy. It won't blow it. It's just a bit windy. What did you get? A yellow one. Then yellow flower. Oh, that's nice. 
Did you have a good day at school? Yep. Where are we going now? To Look Daddy's. at YouTube. Are you excited? Yep. And I. What are you going to do at Daddy's? I'm going to go and do some good things. Oh, that's nice. And what's Mummy going to do when you go to Daddy's? You got to do some working. Do I? Sorry, I don't understand. <laughs> Apparently, this little rug rat went to bite a little kid on the head today. And I asked him why, and that's his answer that he doesn't understand. <laughs> You sound like, Sorry, okay, Google. I don't understand. Thank you. I love you. There's Daddy. My look, there he is. Yay. There's Daddy. He's there. Go watch him. Love you. Bye, Mama. I gotta go to that. Okay, have fun. Bye. Oh, we're ready to go. It feels nice to have some makeup on. You guys don't have to stare at my freckles. Um, anyway, so my top is from Kukai. My shorts from Bardo. My heels are from Nine West. And my bag is also from Bardo. Just out the front waiting for an Uber now. And I'm excited. We're going to the star first to have a few drinks. How pretty that looks. <laughs> hey, Hello. this is my favourite bartender. Always oh, looks after me. I try to, you know. I yes. <laughs> Getting a mojito. Oh, my focus. This is like my favourite spot on the coast. vlog our little walk. Okay. We're going for a lovely night stroll. Don't you just love vlogging? I do. Don't you just love being in my vlogs? Yeah. So now we're walking to Dracula's. We get a free champagne on arrival which will be greatly appreciated. Hey, um, no bubbles like a free bubbles. We also get a free ride on the ghost train. What? There's a ghost train. There's a ghost train. Stop. Going on the ghost train. John has no idea what to expect because he's not been, but I went to the exact show like two weeks ago. It was freaking awesome. Woo! Love that. So, <laughs> um, well, uh, so tonight, what you'll get. We are gathered here today to pay our last respects to these mere mortals as they pass from one life to the next. Eternal life!